So many people have done videos based on on the idea of trailers ruining movies, and I did that too. But let's talk about marketing in general. Seriously, not just, you know, the fact that we're having to deal with trailers, how about marketing? See, this is a problem I think in Hollywood that, that's happening in Hollywood that really just needs to be addressed right now. Not a year after, not tomorrow, now. This focus is a pain in the ass. Fuck you, camera. I need a new camera. Oh my fucking god. Okay, anyways. Let's get to the idea of the marketing. The marketing in Hollywood today has seemed to be really big and messy. While we have seen some good marketing campaigns, like Tomorrowland had a great campaign, and while I wasn't too happy with it, I thought it was more good than bad, 3 out of 5, but um, it had good marketing. It really hyped me up for the film by not revealing much, giving us very small glimpses of what we're expecting in terms of major plot points, action set pieces, anything like that. Very, minimal, very vague, very minimal, revealed basically nothing. And I'm happy they did that because, I mean, while the film wasn't as, wasn't really great or really one of the best films of the years I really hoped it would be, it still had the tra it kept a lot of secrets from me for better or worse, secrets from the audience for better or worse. Same with all the ads. It didn't reveal much. I like what they did with that. They kept it vague. See, this is a problem today with marketing in Hollywood. A lot of people feel like you gotta throw everything out. All these trailers, exclusive trailers, all these four minute trailers, give us sneak peeks of the film, first ten minutes, uh, clips all over. No! No! Keep it vague! Just give us trailers! Give us trailers that are vague! And leave it at that. Don't- and do the same with the advertisements. Don't reveal anything. Give us what you really- just give us some hints of what we're expecting. Don't give any major plot points away. No! Just leave it! If you want examples of bad marketing, Terminator Genesis. What did that film do wrong? What did that what did the marketing do wrong? Well, let's see. Number 1. The main twist. Giving out knowing the fact that John Connor is now a Terminator human hybrid. No, you don't give away that in the trailer. No. They gave that away in the ads and even on the poster. How? You could see him with both Terminator and human elements to him. You could see him in his, as a combination of the two. You could see it visually. And that's the problem. That's giving away too much. See, that's a major problem. That was like a, like a major plot point or something. Cause I mean, I don't know, I did not see the movie. I didn't care to, why would I? But this is I think a big problem with this movie. It suffers from that. It has a very, very bad, marketing campaign, which I think really hurt it, because it revealed too much. Now, Colin Trevorrow, who is the director for Jurassic World, has said that the trailers reveal too much. Somewhat. And a few weeks after, uh, some, a few weeks after the movie came out, they started releasing some ads, giving off a one scene, like, briefly, of the T-Rex and the Indominus Rex, like, like, fighting. That's very small. And sure, that isn't too bad, but yeah, you're giving away some big, cool shit happening. And I didn't think it was really necessary. Okay? I mean, it's fine, but the problem is a bit too much of the action set pieces, which I think was really the main sell of the movie. Um, another thing that really kind of got on my nerves a little bit was also, uh... Ow. It's just also how a lot of trailers are being marketed. See... A lot of problems with comedies today, a lot of them give away their best jokes. And there are some that are actually pretty funny, but unfortunately the movie pales in comparison to that. Let's give examples. Number one. No Way to Die in the West. That's one of the biggest, that's one of the most recent examples of a comedy being ruined by its marketing. All the best jokes, even some of the cameos were ruined. Like the Doc Brown cameo ruined in a, I think in an ad, which is stupid. I don't think I... So we saw most of it, not the entire thing, but that was stupid. It was so stupid. It just has no real sense of keeping giving us much entertainment value. If you understand what I'm saying, it reveals too much of the best things about the movie, and that movie wasn't all that great to begin with. It only had 
a, a good amount, a handful of laughs. And I think this is where I think the movie really falls apart, where I think that really hurt it, because the best joke's given away, so you weren't going to laugh, so you could probably laugh at them, but you weren't going to laugh as much hard as you did in the tra in the ads, or the t trailers. And you wouldn't really laugh, and there were a few jokes that weren't given away that I was a little happy for. Just overall, not a lot of them were very funny, and the movie I thought was okay. This is a big problem I have with this marketing. It was very bad. Also, a lot of people say it made Spider-Man 2. Yes. We all agree. It gave away the last shot of the movie. Not only is it a major letdown that you also misleaded our audience by giving them, you know, Rhino, but it didn't even, it only had him in the movie for like a couple minutes from what I've been hearing. I did not see it yet. I still have to. But if you want me to elaborate, this is also another problem with marketing. It's misleading. Some people don't know what demographics to appeal to. Well, who's the film for? Just leave it at that. A lot of times, a lot of these trailers are just the same thing for comedies. Joke, silence, a bit of silence, and you hear a joke. No music playing while someone's making a joke. A lot of the jokes are really mostly the same. Some of them are not very funny. And that's a big problem. A lot of the jokes, a lot of them just feel the same. Especially for PG-13 comedies. A lot of them just have the same kind of typical jokes. They just don't come out that funny. And sometimes these red, and sometimes all these like extend, extended trailers or anything like that just ruins the fun of it. If you want me to elaborate on it, I will. If you, horror trailers and comedy trailers are really very misleading at times because you don't know what to come in expecting. A lot of times, a lot of these trailers are misleading because you don't know what to really expect going into it. Sometimes you'll get really what you weren't expecting. Sometimes you'll get something of that. Sometimes you'll get something more. But the problem is you don't really know what you're coming expecting. This is a big problem with Hollywood today. They don't really know how to market a film anymore sometimes. Sometimes they don't know how to market their trailers towards a certain demographic. Sometimes they want to appeal to a wide demographic, but maybe it's not meant to be. Maybe you should focus on the demographic you're trying to appeal to. The audience that it's trying to reach. With, that, the film will, that the film will connect to. Do it that way. That's how you do it. It'll work better. But there's also a problem I have with many other films like this. <laughs> see, if you want me to elaborate again, um, see, I mean, we already have to deal with you know a lot of the trail, a lot of horror trailers and comedy trailers being made the same. And sometimes it doesn't do justice to those comedies and those horror films. Sometimes it's completely different. It's like it comes up as, as a generic comedy and horror film, but it doesn't at all. It's just sad, and misleading. It turns people off. Sometimes word of mouth and reviews are the only way to get. Word of mouth and reviews are really the only thing I can use to really see a horror film. Well, not really word of mouth. Reviews are the only thing that really sell me. Film, but overall, more or less. See, the thing about marketing in Hollywood is that a lot of it just seems to either be false, they do not sell the film at all the way it's supposed to be, or the way the film, or what the film is, for what the for what the film is like, sometimes they make it complete different, make it seem like a complete different movie than the movie actually is. It doesn't appeal to the demographic the film is supposedly appealing to, and it doesn't do justice. It sometimes ruins too many plot points. Sometimes it ruins the sometimes it spoils the best things. Sometimes it removes stuff that really shouldn't be in there. There's a lot of problems with it, and it's ridiculous. I mean, like you give away best scenes, like for a comedy trailer, best jokes. A horror film, the best scares, or you make the scares generic, like generic jump scares. Stop doing that. Action film, the best action, the best the action, if any good ones at all, depending on how action is today. Ugh. Also, uh, um, um, making the film completely different from what it is. I mean, I already said that. Um. You're, you're just really toying with expectations sometimes as well. Sometimes you're releasing on so, on such unbelievably high expectations that you can't really satisfy 100%. For example, the Mad Max Fury Road trailers are great, and they made me go, and they made me, and I went in expecting awesome action, and I got it. That's good marketing. Because the film is mostly a chase film, almost the entire thing. There's some unbelievable action. The movie had, these movies barely scraped the bottom of the barrel of the action we were getting. Some of it had some of the best standout moments, but some of it also didn't. There was barely any of that action of the entire movie in the trailer. There were some, but not enough. That was awesome.
that was great marketing because it, it made us go in what we were expecting, but also it gave us a bit, for me, it gave me a bit more actually. I was really surprised. But another idea is that sometimes they really just need to mark, and but also, uh, sometimes give away too much. Now I've heard, now I've never seen the trailer for this movie, but I've heard about the apparition, and I've heard that the final shot in the trailer is the final shot of the movie. That's a failure in every sense of the word. Also the poster, final shot of the movie. And sometimes these trailers are misleading because they don't know exactly what you're gonna get, what you're going in for. And uh, yeah, that's great, that's so great. But uh, whatever. You know, this is marketing today in Hollywood. There are some good marketing campaigns once in a while, but some it really sucks. I'm happy they're doing it with Star Wars. Don't make any more trailers. Don't reveal any more in the ads. Just give us what we're expecting. And keep the mystery alive. Keep many mysteries alive so that we will be surprised when we see the movie in theaters. But anyways, anyways, um, yeah, that's a problem today with marketing. There's many things I want to talk about. If you have your own opinions on this or if you want to share some more, make a video about it or put it in the comments section below. Just comment below about what you think about marketing today. Are there any things you like about the marketing Hollywood? Are there some things that you heavily detest? Do you think there are some things that you should fix? Just comment below your opinions on the marketing and scratch out for more videos.